What do you being crew? It's your boy Savon Thomas back with another episode of Coffee and Comments. And today we're going to review the movie Bullet Train. We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is going to sting, bitch! Oh. I'll let you hear. Fate. That's a shit deal. Welcome back crew. Today we're reviewing the movie Bullet Train while sipping on some decaf coffee. You know what it is, French vanilla of course. I've been drinking this a lot lately. I think I just need to level it out sometimes, you know? And I've been doing a lot of my reviews at nighttime, so decaf just kind of just works better with my schedule. I ain't trying to be up all night. But again, this is a review of the movie Bullet Train. If you guys haven't seen it, it came out in theaters in 2022. Uh, I saw it actually on, what was it? I probably was on the plane. Yeah, I was on the plane. I was flying back from New York. This is a couple months ago. Uh, flying back from New York from my last job. And um, I was like, man, I've been wanting to see this movie. And when I watched it on the airplane, I was like, man, this is actually an enjoyable movie. I wonder how much different it would have been if I watched it in theaters versus watching it uh, in a Delta seat with the little thing right there. Uh, but still, good, good, good movie. If you guys couldn't tell from the trailer, this movie stars Brad Pitt. And he basically is just an unlucky guy. That's kind of his shtick it's kind of his thing in this movie he's just unlucky guy he's always in the wrong place at the right time what the hell are you doing out here fred and his character basically is supposed to like take care of this i think his briefcase is what it is i forget the exact thing he has to take care of but um just gets caught up in this whirlwind of things and like there's just like Asian gang war that he gets involved in somehow, but there's a lot of great uh, people in this movie as far as like the cast go. Obviously Brad Pitt plays the main character for this film, but then you also have Aaron Taylor Johnson who is a more newer character, does a very good job as his role of Tangerine. Joey King's also in this movie and the whole time I'm watching it I'm like, how do I know this chick? She's been in a ton of movies, I don't think I've ever seen any of the movies she's been in uh, besides Crazy Stupid Love. But like she's been in so many different movies just like as a young kid. Now that she's older, I'm like, she looks she looks the same but older. And I'm like, who's this girl? I know her. The whole time I watched the movie, I'm like, I know her. Uh, and ended up being Joey King. I'm like, of course I knew who that was. You also randomly have Bad Bunny in this film, which that was interesting because I'm not a huge Bad Bunny fan. I know there's a ton of people out there that love them some Bad Bunny. A lot of my friends love Bad Bunny as well. But he was kind of like an interesting person to have in this movie. He played the wolf. Uh, then you also have Sandra Bullock, who she her cameo is kind of interesting too. Like, she's just she's the she, for the most of the movie she's just a voice, and you finally see her at the end of the movie because uh, she comes to help out Brad Pitt's character. But for the most part, she's just his voice that works with Brad Pitt. And then this dude Brian Tyree Henry it is fantastic. He started to become one of my favorite actors. Uh, he was in uh, ATL or, or Atlanta, excuse me, not ATL. ATL is a movie. Atlanta the TV show. Uh, and I've seen him in different things as well, but like he started to become like one of my favorite actors. He's a great dude. He actually got a um, Oscar nomination for his role in this movie, uh, but does a great job. And so overall, this movie, I mean, it's all the majority of the movie is on a train. It's a bullet train in Japan. Uh, but Brad Pitt, like I said before, his character gets involved with like a series of events that he shouldn't have been involved in. That is all what other guy's fault. Um, the good, you know, it's, it's a long story on what happens. I, I want you to watch the movie because it is a very enjoyable movie. But there's a lot of there's a lot of good action in the movie as well. Like Brad Pitt's fight scenes, he does a great job. The choreography is done well. Um, there's certain hijinks that happen on the train that it's like, okay, this this was a good part of the movie. This was fun. Joey King kind of does some fighting. She's a very uh, slickster girl. Uh, Brian Tyree's character, his, his and his ten, twin brother. So like I was saying, good action in this movie. Overall, I gave this movie a 7.5 out of 10. Very enjoyable watch. You can go watch it at your house. You can go watch it with friends. I would rewatch it. It has good rewatchability as well. But if you checked it out, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Coffee and Comments.